Hey guys, Stevie from Steagle Saber Installs. So uh, I've just finished up another conversion uh, install for Paul Aries down here in Australia. It's a Hasbro Yoda. And um, yeah, it came to me in pieces. It was all pulled apart. I don't know if Paul himself tried um, playing around with it or if he picked it up secondhand already like that or not. It doesn't matter. It's finished now. So, yeah, as I said, it came in pieces, so it was missing the blade, which meant it was missing the clash sensor as well as the connector that goes to the soundboard, which I usually use to wire up the LED to. So this one I had to desolder everything off the, off the board and uh, resolder it all, which I haven't done before with one of these, so I thought it would be... A bit of a headache but it wasn't it was quite easy just have to know what you're doing I guess but yeah it also came to me in a terrible state with the grips they were horrible as most uh, force effects are I haven't had a single one yet that the grips have been 100% Mickey Mouse these are yeah they've been pretty terrible every time so to clean them up I'll just give a rundown for any of you that might have that issue. Um, something I do to clean them up. Generally, I run acetone on them. Um, that gets rid of the residue off most of them, especially the T-Tracks. You can probably get away with just acetone. As you don't notice the finish um, being too bad on them, which I've done on this one here. You don't notice. as You see a little bit of blemishes on there from the acetone because the problem with acetone is it bites into the actual rubber itself because um, it's a chemical um, also does with plastic too so what and paint so if you're going to tackle it try and mask off any areas that you don't want affected or remove them if you can so with this one I removed everything that was gutted anyway so I removed the clamp clamp and um, hit it with some acetone it got rid of the residue off the metal, off the grips. Um, I'd done it one way so that it just gave like a brush look when it did bite into the rubber. After that, I um, hit it with some wet and dry sandpaper. I went the opposite way to what I did with the um, acetone so that it kind of evened back out the brush look. It kind of got rid of them. There's still slight blemishes in there with the pattern. I think it's only on one of them really. I'll try and get it close up for you. You can't. Yeah. You can't really tell. In person you'll be able to see it more, but considering what they were like, this is a thousand times better than how they were. So I'm quite chuffed with how that uh, turned out. There'll be a technique I'll be using from now on for sure. Um so yeah, that worked out after that because of the because it's rubber, anything sticks to rubber. So I had a bit of powder left on there from sanding, obviously. So I just gave it a wipe over with some soapy water and they come up a treat. I'm stoked with that. I'm sure Paul will be ecstatic about it too. Um, so besides that, Paul supplied all parts for this one. He ordered them all in his own time, uh, which is great for me. Saves me trying to order and organize and have PayPal money sent through and everything like that so I'm happy for that to be the case with any other future customers or whatnot if you have this like resources or the know-how of what to order I'm more than happy for you to go out and order it all yourself and send it all to me to do the install um, otherwise bits and pieces you can also I can supply um, other parts for it I'll be able to supply a fair bit of parts soon uh, hopefully um, but yeah, he supplied the custom saber shop, uh, conversion kit, uh, the LED heat sink pad and, um, the clash sensor. So that was all supplied. I just had to install it. So yeah, I'll fire it up. Enough talking. Just takes a standard one inch blade as all the conversion kits do. This is a Sabre Forge uh, Infinity Edge V4, I think. Only blade I got. 
uh, 32 inch. So it should light up good, but it won't. I've got second hand batteries in there and I don't have fresh ones in the house. So yeah, it's not gonna be as bright as it should be, but it'll give you an idea and it shows that it works anyway. Um, put some freshies in there and it'll be bright. It will definitely be bright. No worries about that at all. So yeah, let's fire her up. Doesn't look terrible on camera. Um, but, or in person really, but it'll show up on camera more than anything. Drops out about here, so yeah. That's just because the yeah, batteries are low. Really sensitive. The clash sensor on the um, custom saber shop sensor is a thousand times better than the standard ones from Hasbro. Um, it's great. Shits all over it. So yeah. Works. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for that one. Um, oh, also, I'm just doing a little... Uh, Paul's unaware of it, but I... Uh, I've got a bit of spare time in between installs, so I've, um, I'm going to be making a uh, emitter plug. It's not a blade plug, but a cover kind of thing for the emitter to make it more screen accurate when he's displaying it. Um, just a little project I thought I'd I'd do. Uh, it's just a plastic uh, cap, um, also with a plug that was from Anakin Revenge of the Sith uh, conversion. This is where the uh, blade plugged into. So uh, I've just uh, cut that off to length that I need and then I've also cut this to the exact same size as the emitter. I'll, uh, this is just drying at the, at the moment so once it's dry I'll um, screw, uh, drill out some holes to make it more screen accurate four holes that it tends to have. Um, I'll hit it with a coat of paint, a couple of coats of paint, and um, yeah, I'll try and get a shine through effect with it, um, but if I don't, it doesn't really matter. He didn't ask for this, so it's just a bonus. If he doesn't like it, he can throw it out for all I care, it's fine. But yeah, you basically just uh, sit in there like that. And I'll finish up the look anyway. I'd like to do metal metal one but uh, I don't have the machinery for that and I think it will look pretty good, it will finish it off anyway um, for a display careful with that so yeah that's pretty much it for that uh, it's my second conversion for Paul uh, the first one was the Beta obviously and that one is nice and bright too um, that's just got a standard red 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 in it. That's a ESB Master Replicas uh, Veda. It's heavy. It is a lead weight. Um, I got a Kylo Ren one to do for him in the future once he's, he's sorting out his parts again in his own time, which is fine by me. He'll send that down. I'll convert that one for him too. I've done many of those, so that one should be a walk in the park. Um, future projects, the next one up, I might start this afternoon, if I have time, will be the Corbanth um, K4. This one's my personal one. I have one for me and one for a customer to do. I want to tackle my own first before I uh, do his, because I haven't worked on a K4 before. Uh, if there's any bugs that I need to uh, work on or uh, any uh, problems I need to iron out, I'd rather do it on my own rather than a customer's commission. So I'll be um, tackling this one first or so simultaneously, so yeah. Um, that'll be next, pretty much. It's a nice hill. I didn't expect it to be this heavy. It's quite sturdy and uh, no movement in it. I've glued down the um, wind vane there already. I've glued that into place because that's uh, quite loose when you when it when you receive it 
I've also sanded down the emitter to a weathering that I'm happy with. May sand it down a bit more yet. I'm going to add some, I've sanded down the grip section too to give it some wear and tear because the OV shouldn't look clean. Never. Also with down here. Um, I may add some weathering to the copper sections yet too. Copper sections. Um, brass, whatever it's meant to be. So I'll probably stick with the 7th, 8th for this as most of my uh, save is a 7 8 uh, blades and I don't mind them, it's just a display piece, so I'm not going to be uh, dealing with it. Um, so yeah, that'll be the next one I'll tackle. I've got some parts in for that. Um, once I've got that nutted out, I'll start my commission for the customer, which is also, he's also got a DV6 that I have to do, two Romans uh, MK1s also, which I'm looking forward to doing, I haven't done yet before. Um, but I heard they are exquisite and they are heavy as, so that one's quite heavy, so I can't wait to see how the Romans feels in hand. Uh, I've got an MPP 2.0 to do also, and um, yeah, a couple of DV6 for the customer, so that is um, one to look forward to, a few to look forward to. Um, so yeah, if you like what you're seeing today, hit subscribe, I guess. Uh, any comments or anything to, if you're trying to tackle it yourself, I'm always up for giving advice um, or helping you out. I'd rather you do it yourself. Uh, it's quite satisfying to actually be able to do it yourself. So yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, hit the comment section and uh, I'll do my best to help you out. Cheers.